This is a yin yoga practice for the heart. I'm Devi, this is Conrad, and we're going to guide you through a practice to open up the heart area, the rib cage, the upper back, and the lungs, and also to get into the energies of the heart, the meridian of the heart, and the heart chakra. We'll finish with a guided meditation, and for the practice, you'll want a towel that you can roll up and also a yoga block, two blocks if you have them, or if you don't have those, then a stack of books that is about six inches high will work just fine. We'll go ahead and get started in a comfortable seat for meditation for a couple of minutes of meditation to begin. You can sit in a chair like Conrad, you can sit in Seiza like this, or you can have a cushion under your seat for a cross-legged position. Go ahead and close the eyes and find yourself in an upright position of the spine. And take a moment to lift up from the heart into the shoulders, inhaling. Roll the shoulders back and roll them down. See if your hands want to turn up at the palms or stay down on the legs or fold into the lap. And think about these hands as extensions of your heart, the, the way the heart connects out through the arms and into the hands and the fingers, like the arms and the hands are your wings. And now begin to breathe with deeper breaths, nothing too intensely different than what you are already doing, but just a little bit deeper as you direct the breath into your heart. And so as you inhale, you'll feel the chest opening forward, expanding, and also out to the sides, the ribs expanding. And as you exhale, you'll feel your ribs coming back in. And with your next breath in, the heart expands forward, the ribs expand to the sides, and maybe the heart also expands backward. Maybe there's a little bit of upper back spreading and exhaling. And now continuing with this, and the length of the breath is gonna just start to be whatever's comfortable for you. And if you're familiar with the Ujjayi breath, that's a really good uh, pranayama practice to bring more awareness to the heart. And the ujjayi breath is the feeling of constricting the throat, the same thing as if you are whispering or fogging up a mirror, it's the same thing we know how to do already. But you're keeping the mouth closed and letting the breath move through the nose. And as you breathe into your heart, as you hold your heart with your awareness, notice if there are any particular sensations or feelings or emotions present in your heart area today. And whatever you find, noticing it, giving a nod to it, holding it gently if needed. And taking one more of these full breaths into the heart. 
And as you exhale, bring the hands to the low belly. And as you inhale, open the hands out from the belly. And exhale with an om as you bring the hands back. Om. Now bring your hands up to your forehead, to your third eye. Inhale and open them out. Same thing. And now to the heart, hands to the heart. And as you inhale, expanding out from the heart with the hands gesturing outward. your hands, gently open your eyes, and coming into our first posture with a towel rolled up under the upper back. So what you'll do with your towel is take it into the long way. Um, it's easiest to fold it in half first, and you don't have so much rolling to do. And then Starting with a tight roll in the first edge, just keep on going in till you have yourself a roll. A rolled yoga mat also works. It's about the same size. And now you'll take it to about two thirds or three quarters up your mat. And this is going to come underneath the back of your heart. So it's not under the shoulders. It's a little bit lower and it's not in the lower back. So really just think right behind your heart and your arms kind of spill over the edge of it. And you can have your legs straight ahead or you can take the soles of the feet together like butterfly legs. And we'll rest here for a couple of minutes to allow the intercostal muscles of the ribs to open up, to allow the upper and middle spine to open up and to open up the lungs. And you may enjoy an exploration of continuing that heart breath that we began with, Breathing to expand into the rib cage and the heart cavity and perhaps using that ujjayi breath. Softening any tension around your chest, your collarbones, your throat. And now bringing the legs back in and just roll over to one side and very slowly push yourself up to come into child's pose. So you can put your towel aside.
And now feeling the back of your heart after stretching into that back bend, maybe some residual sensations here in the back of the heart. In each breath, you can send to the middle upper back, feeling it spread in your back. And now coming into a lateral stretching child's pose. So both hands over to the right side, left hand comes on top of the right. And settle the head down. Now you may be someone who likes to keep the head kind of hovering or you may prefer to let the head come all the way down or some people kind of rest the head on the hand here or on the, not the hand, but on the upper arm. with the main idea of stretching the side of the rib cage now, the side of the room that the heart lives in. And we can send the breath into this left side of the ribs. And releasing that first side, and now walk the hands over to the second side, right hand on top of the left. Feeling into the right side of your rib cage, maybe into the right armpit, and breathing into the right side of the lungs, right side of the ribs, right side of the heart. And coming back to the center now and make your way up to hands and knees for rolling panda pose. So we begin with the left hand coming up to open the heart up towards your left side. And now sweep this left arm under and through. So we have the kind of two phases of rolling panda with the left side of the neck lengthening to begin with. And so we want to bring the ear away from the shoulder to get that stretch. This right hand can be flat on the ground or it can be bent at the elbow or any position that feels good to you. And so the main stretching focus here is the left side of the neck. Not so much the twist just yet. You can play around with your head position, micro adjusting your nose toward the ground more or toward the ceiling more to see what feels best.
And now moving into the second phase with your right foot coming out to the side like a kickstand. And this is gonna enable you to take your chin down toward your chest more, to stretch into your upper back more, and to especially stretch into the back of the heart. So you can do this TP hands above the head with your right fingertips, or you could wrap the hand behind the back or any kind of arm and hand position that serves your pose here. You can play around with bringing the weight a little farther over, almost like you're about to come into a diagonal somersault to play around with getting the stretch at the back of the heart right where you want it. And releasing, bring it slowly, carefully back around to hands and knees. And before we go to the other side, coming into a puppy stretch for, let's see, two minutes. So bringing the heart toward the ground as you stretch your arms out in front of you. And the hips are pretty much above the knees, but if they end up farther back, or farther forward, that's okay too. As long as you have the feeling that you're stretching into your heart, into your armpits. And especially the ribs as they connect to the arms. And you might do it with your elbows off the ground or you might rest your elbows on the ground. You might be someone whose chin comes to the ground easily or you might be someone even whose chest comes to the ground easily. That's not happening for either of us, but some people have a lot more flexibility in their spine where that could be what's happening. Releasing and coming back up to hands and knees for the thread the needle on the second side. So your right arm comes up, open up the heart toward the sky for a moment, and now take the arm under and through. Resting the right ear on the ground and then making this same adjustment for the first part of the rolling panda where we take the ear away from the shoulder, lengthening the right side of the neck. And again, you may wish to micro adjust the position of your head, nose toward the ground more or nose up toward the ceiling more.
And now taking your left leg out to the side like a kickstand and rolling the head farther through and then playing around with how you can get this stretch more into the back of the heart, maybe coming toward the somersault feeling, maybe turning the face or the chin up toward the sky more or chin toward the chest more. Maybe this hand coming behind the back. And releasing, bring it back around to hands and knees, please. And take a rest in child's pose. And feeling this energy that's been stirred and awakened in the area of the back of the heart, the upper body, the upper spine. And now coming up and making your way into a second variation of puppy stretch. So the puppy stretch is also called the yoga pose of the heart or anahatasana. We can take the elbows to the ground and bring the hands somewhere behind the head or to the upper back. If it works for you to bring palms together, great. If not, it's not a big deal as long as you're getting this action of the heart moving toward the ground. So it's not, it's not like this so much as this, where the elbows are far enough forward to let you sort of pull back with your sitting bones. And for me, I want to kind of get my elbows up a little bit more, so I'm going to use the blocks under my elbows. And this kind of gives my head a place to go in between the blocks which I quite like. So the heart chakra is also called in Sanskrit Anahata chakra, Anahata. And so the name of this pose and the Puppy pose in Sanskrit is sometimes called Anahatasana. Very good, slowly coming out of it and making your way to a sitting position. Right leg, no left leg forward is what we wanna do first. So right leg bent and coming forward over this leg. And as we come into this as a forward bend, 
you're likely to feel some stretch in the back of the leg, in the back of the spine. If you don't feel that, then you may need some props under your seat or a different variation of the pose. You can play around with your angles. You can play around with how much lift is under your seat. And for today with our heart posture focus, we'll take this right hand across to the outside of the leg. And so this will help you to get into the side of the ribs. And for Conrad, he's going to hold his foot. That works well for some people. If, um, and others are just going to have the hand more on the side of the leg somewhere. You can take this left hand as far out to the side as you need to support your weight. And so being with all the sensations, there might be a number of places feeling this pose, the back of the leg, the back of the spine, lower back, upper back, neck, and also adding this side bending, lateral bend. And slowly releasing coming up but staying in this position and just opening this right knee out to the side for a side bend. So taking your left hand down the leg and rotate your right shoulder back so your right side of your chest opens back and look to the right as you come down to the side here. And you can do the hand, right hand behind the back or you can have it up over your head and it could just hover in space or in, if you have the flexibility to hold on to your foot, go for it. Or some people like to have the hand behind the head. And another choice that some people seem to quite like, I like it too, is to have the elbow on some blocks here and hands can kind of clasp behind the head or arm could just rest here or something. And slowly make your way back upright with your spine and changing sides, starting out with half butterfly, uh, right leg forward this time, left leg bent. And taking the left hand across to the outside of the leg or foot. Right hand can come to the floor on the right side to wherever it helps stabilize you. And opening your awareness to absorb everything that's happening in this body right now, all the different parts that are stretching. Any parts that might be struggling, see if you can wiggle around or shift around to make it not feel like a struggle, but instead, just a way of surrendering into gravity. And now slowly coming up 
And opening out into the side half butterfly. So your knee comes out to the side and you can play around with what's the right width for you between your two legs here. As you take your right hand to your leg, open your left shoulder back and then come down sideways. Seiza position, sit on your heels. And if this isn't a comfortable way for you to sit, then you can do it standing on the knees or really any sitting position in your, in your chair, um, if you like. So we'll come into finger fans. This is a yang movement. We'll take the palms to face up. And now take the pinkies in and let the rest of the fingers follow one at a time. So ring finger, middle, first, and thumb. And now bend your wrists, bend your elbows, and now squeeze the back of your heart. Your hands will kind of cross behind your head, really opening your heart here. And as you exhale, press it forward, palms open. Good, and we're kind of cultivating heart energy here. We're gonna do a similar thing, palms up, pinkies, and then one at a time, thumbs last, Bend the wrist, bend the elbows, squeeze the back of the heart. And now open out to the sides, heart opening. Good, palms up, pinkies first, thumbs last. Squeeze it all in. Inhale and press it forward. You can begin to play with ujjayi breath here again if you wish. Palms up, pinkies in, thumbs last, and pull it in to the heart. And as you exhale, expanding out through your heart. So start to visualize your heart energy expanding and contracting. Palms face up, pinkies first, thumbs last. Pull it in, contracting the heart energy, making it small and tight. And as you exhale, press forward and expanding it forward, giving the heart energy. And inhaling, pinkies first, thumbs last. Inhale, contracting the heart energy into yourself. And exhale, spreading it out, spreading the love, spreading loving kindness. Once more in each direction, palms up, pinkies first, thumbs last. Squeeze it in and exhale, press forward. Palms up, pinkies first, thumbs last. Pull it in, bringing that love into your inner self, your inner world, and exhale and expanding, breathing that love out. And settle the arms down. Coming into a position to lie back over your stack of books or blocks. So I've got my two blocks, one at the middle height and one, oh no, one at the low height and one at the middle height. This is for the back of my heart, this is for my head. Conrad has a stack of books about six inches high and then he's gonna use his meditation cushion or pillow for his head. Whatever you've got for a cushion under your head. You wanna have the firm part of, something firm under the back. So often the body will just squish the cushions too much. So that's why I say to use books instead of a cushion for this, because you have a lot of power in your thoracic spine and this part of the body really wants to 
crush whatever is under it unless you have a really nice firm cushion. And you can do whatever feels good with your legs. You could keep them straight, you could cross them at the ankles, you could have the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. And now let your arms come out to the side, spilling out to the side, maybe angled a little farther down or up, depending on whatever gives you the best opening in your heart. And play around with your block heights. You might find that this is too much sensation for you, a little too uncomfortable. If your head is tilting uncomfortably, then take what's under your head and bring it up higher. That will help. And alternatively, if you aren't feeling enough sensation, if you want more upper back stretch, take what's under your back up and take what's under your head down. Oh, that's a little too much for me, so. I'm going to have them both at the middle height for me. Experiment with returning to ujjayi breathing, to heart breathing, anahata chakra breathing like we began with. Staying in the pose, but taking the arms over the head. And so the arms will just kind of dangle. You can hold one wrist with the other hand or interlace the fingers and press the palms away. And feel this nice opening in the side of the ribs, upper back. Releasing the arms back down. Very slowly make your way off of your blocks or stack of books and onto your back. And on your back. Hug your knees in, wrap your arms around your legs, gently rock side to side. And take both knees over to the right side. Spinal twist, left arm out to the left side. You can turn your head to the left or to the right. See what feels the best in your spine as you twist. And 
And you can see Conrad and I are taking two different variations of the twist. So you can do these two knees on top of each other like me. You could do one knee bent and the other leg straight or any other yin twist variation that, that you know that you like. And now taking this left arm up next to the head, then you can, again, change your head position to whatever feels good here as you rest this arm straight up, which gets a little bit more into the heart chakra. You can also rotate the left hand to emphasize the heart chakra a little bit more. So the heart meridian extends into the pinky, on the inside of the pinky and that whole pinky side of the arm. You can think about extending through the pinky, reaching up through the pinky. And now roll all the way over to the right side. Round your spine a bit, tuck your chin. Rest here for about three breaths. Breathe into the back of your heart. Then roll back up to the center and slowly shift to the second side with your twist. You can always use your props here if there's any way your body needs to be supported more, perhaps a cushion under your knees or in between your two knees. Or something under your extended arm. And now taking the right arm, sliding it up to come up next to the head. And you may be someone whose arm hovers like mine, or it might rest on the ground more easily, which I think Conrad does. Now we will think about rotating or repositioning this arm to emphasize the sensation in the heart meridian. Once again, the heart meridian begins in the heart, of course, and then comes out to the pinky running down that pinky side of the arm. You can think about extending up through the pinky. And now cross the arm over the face to roll all the way onto your left side. Curl up into a ball. 
and breathe into the back of the heart three breaths. And now shifting to come onto your back for Shavasana. Relaxing on the back. Make yourself comfortable. We will stay here for two minutes and then we'll move into a seated meditation for the final portion of this practice. So use any cushions under the knees or under the head to make yourself comfortable putting any extra clothes or layers on to keep yourself warm. And notice now the energy of the body, particularly what is awakening around the area of your heart. After stretching and lengthening and softening all these different ways around the rib cage, the heart itself, middle and upper back, chest, throat, Allow your tongue to be soft. Allow your hands and arms to be soft. Allow the pinkies and the pinky side of the arm running through the armpit to be soft and alive, open. And now taking a deeper breath into your heart. And as you exhale, reach out into the pinkies and the rest of the fingers. Stretch the arms up over your head. Stretch down long through your legs. And bend your knees. Roll over to one side. And gently move into a sitting position for about 10 minutes of seated meditation. So again, a chair or a cross-legged position or a seiza, perhaps with a cushion under the seat. And as you sit with your eyes closed, with your spine upright, notice what energy is here in this body right now after this practice, focusing on the heart, the ribs, the upper middle back. And if there's any energy in you that and it wants to be expressed in movement, then let that happen. If there's any swaying or loosening that wants to happen. See where your hands and arms want to be. And 
and see if the movement wants to come to a place of stillness or if there's a gentle rhythm that wants to continue. And now returning to our anahata chakra breathing, inhaling with the ujjayi breath into the heart. And exhaling with ujjayi breath. And the next inhale, after the inhale ends, pause for a moment, holding the breath in and enjoying this expanded heart just for a moment at the top of the breath and then let it go. And do this two or three or four more times. And now as part of our anahata breathing, adding on the exhale, the bija mantra for the heart, which is yum. Conveniently, we get a yummy word, yum. So it'll sound like this. Yum. And so that humming, that om, or that mmm, continues to vibrate the heart. So now with me, inhale. Yum. Inhale into the heart center. Hold at the top. Yum. And if it helps you, you can take your hands to the side of the ribs and inhale, feel it expand. Yum. to the heart. Yum. Yum. One more time. Inhaling, expand the ribs. Yum. rest now in a comfortable place. And 
and let your energy begin to settle, feeling the rebound. Noticing in the field of the heart, there is a kind of a horizontality to it. It's a place where from our own hearts, we can connect at the heart level with others, with other humans, with other beings. Now, with this heart energy that is beaming in full force in all directions now, Let it connect with someone or something that you feel is very dear to you, very easy to send this energy to. And picture that being in your mind's eye and say silently or aloud these three phrases. You can repeat after me. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be safe. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. Resting with that sensation. And now with this heart energy expanding in all directions, let it connect with another person who perhaps you feel more difficult to connect with, someone who maybe causes you some challenge or strife. And as you picture this being in your mind's eye, Repeat the phrase, may you be happy. May you be happy. May you be safe. May you be safe. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be filled with loving kindness. And feel that in your body and your heart. And now, with this expansive and spreading heart energy at this horizontal level, connecting with all the other heart energies of the earth that cover the earth like a blanket. Let this blanket of heart energy be directed inward toward your own being. Saying to yourself, may you be happy. May you be safe. May you be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy. May I be safe. May I be filled with loving kindness. And now dwelling in silence for a couple more minutes.
seeping in the energy of the heart. And now taking your hands to your heart and closing this practice with one chant of yum. Inhale. Yum. Namaste. 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 Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the practice. And if you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other yoga videos. And leave a comment down below. I love to hear from people who made it to the end to hear what you thought of the practice. Thank you for joining, and we will see you next time.